March 8, air traffic control in Malaysia lost contact with Malaysian Airlines Flight 370. Neither the crew nor the aircraft's communication systems relayed a distress signal, indication of bad weather, or technical problems. Radar data later revealed that after losing contact, the aircraft deviated from its flight path before flying out of range and vanishing without a trace. Of course, soon after its disappearance, a multinational search effort began and even continues to this very day. But despite being the largest and most expensive search in aviation history, there's been no confirmation of any flight debris whatsoever. Because of the mystery surrounding its disappearance, theories began to form. Everything from a hijacking or depressurization of the cabin to more radical ideas such as teleportation, aliens and black holes. Yeah. Its last known location was over the Indian Ocean and from the very few pieces of evidence we do have, we can only assume that the aircraft along with all 239 people on board crashed into the ocean. 2014 was also the year of the Ukrainian Revolution, quickly followed by the still ongoing Crimean Crisis. In December 2013, then-Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych signed a treaty and multi-billion dollar loan with Russia. This sparked civil unrest within the Ukrainian public and a revolution soon followed. After increasingly violent clashes between the protesters and law enforcement, Yanukovych fled the country on February 21st. The very next day, the Ukrainian parliament officially removed him from power and appointed a new temporary president. This new president, Alexander Turkshinov, quickly formed a new temporary government. This new Ukrainian government was recognized by the United States and the European Union, but was rejected by Russia, who saw this new government as an illegal seizure. In the weeks that followed, protests against this new government erupted in Crimea, and amidst all this, Russia began its annexation of Crimea by placing military personnel in strategic locations. Skipping forward to the current situation, Crimea and Russia basically says that Crimea is now part of Russia and not Ukraine, while almost everyone else in the world, including Ukraine, the US and the European Union, says no. Crimea is not part of Russia because it violates Ukraine's constitution and international law. And that's about it so far. Russia wants Crimea, but the rest of the world says you can't have it. 18,000 new species have been discovered this year. For example, this new creature called Olinguito lives up in trees in Colombia and Ecuador. This skeleton shrimp was found off the coast of Southern California. The leaf-tailed gecko was found in Australia and this odd-looking snail was found living in complete darkness inside caves in Croatia. As with any year, 2014 marks several anniversaries and milestones. Ten years ago, Facebook, the operating system Ubuntu, Half-Life 2, Halo 2, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and World of Warcraft were all released. 25 years ago, the Berlin Wall was destroyed. 75 years ago, World War II began in 1939. 100 years ago, the First World War began. And 1000 years ago, the Viking Svein Forkbeard, who was king of Denmark, Norway and England, is killed by a ghost. No, seriously, that, that's what everyone thought back then, so we don't really have anything else to go on. But I mean, the evidence speaks for itself, it's pretty obvious what happened here. On this fateful day, Swain is just chillaxing on his bed and then BAM, a ghost shows up and pokes him in the tit and Swain is just like, can you not? And the ghost is like, I can, and pokes him even harder and Swain is just like, I'm gonna throw my hands up to show how little of a fuck I give and thus dying in the most epic of poses ever. Ah, 1014 feels like yesterday. 2014 was unfortunately the year of a major epidemic. I'm of course talking about Ebola. It started in December of 2013 in several West African countries and has so far been mostly contained within that region. There's only been a few cases in other countries such as four people in the US and one in Spain. The World Health Organization estimates that around 20,000 people have been infected so far with a case fatality rate of 70%. However, given how these are very underdeveloped countries, it's likely that these numbers are even higher. 
the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge became one of the most viral events in 2014. In fact, it was the fifth most searched thing on Google this year and famous actors, music artists, athletes and all kinds of people took part in it. But of course it's not the only thing that went viral. Other popular trends and memes include Flappy Bird, Frozen and the song Let It Go, the Apparently Kid. Apparently, I've never been on live television before because apparently you're spinning around and apparently every time you get dizzy. And the beautiful fuck her right to the pussy. Really impacted by the gushing of oil. Can you tell us a little more of what you saw? I sure can. I was sitting on my front porch, grabbed a beer and fuck her right in the pussy. Back 2014 was a brutal year for Iraq and Syria, as the terrorist group calling itself ISIS gained momentum and captured territory throughout the region, killing thousands along the way. The group posted online videos of beheadings with two American journalists being among those executed. Currently over 60 countries are directly or indirectly waging war against ISIS. Sony, North Korea and basically the whole internet went batshit insane over a movie. It all began in June when North Korea threatened to take action if Columbia Pictures went ahead with the release of The Interview, a comedy about two guys attempting to assassinate the supreme leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un. In November, a group known as the Guardians of Peace, who may or may not have connections to North Korea, hacked Sony and demanded the interview not to be released. They also threatened to attack theaters screening the movie. So Sony went ahead and cancelled almost all theatrical screenings of the interview and instead released it online a couple of days later. The problem was just that all of this had a complete opposite effect. Instead of drawing people away from the movie, a lot more people got even more hyped to see it. Reverse psychology can be a bitch. Artificial intelligence has become a lot more intelligent in 2014. One of the more remarkable examples is Google's new technology that can actually describe an image. Just like a human would, this AI software can look at an image and fairly accurately describe it using coherent sentences. And you know these images with random characters you sometimes have to fill out to check that you're not a bot? Well, Google can now solve these with 99% accuracy, practically making them obsolete. A lot of things happened this year, some were tragic, others were awesome. But in my opinion, there's been one thing that really stood out this year, the space industry. For the first time ever, mankind landed a spacecraft on a comet. The spacecraft Rosetta was launched by the ESA in 2004 and took over 10 years to reach its destination. And while this is an astonishing feat all by itself, the path it took to get there is absolutely amazing. J just, just look at this for a few seconds. SpaceX had major breakthroughs in the private spaceflight industry and revealed its new Dragon V2 capsule, capable of carrying humans to the International Space Station and if all goes according to plan, will begin to do so in 2016. India became the fourth country in the world to successfully have a probe orbiting Mars and took this photo upon arrival. Using the Kepler spacecraft, NASA have found 715 new exoplanets this year. The first ever 3D printed object was printed aboard the ISS, and in December NASA carried out a successful test of its Orion capsule, which will hopefully be used to take humans to Mars. Finally, I, I just want to thank every single one of you who subscribed and watched my videos this year. It's been an amazing year for this channel and I will continue trying to make each video better than the last. I'm so lucky and grateful to have come this far and I, I couldn't have done it without you. So a big thanks to, to all of you. 
But uh, yeah, I wish you all a happy new year and hopefully I'll see you in 2015.